cinema and um, so I just thought I'd come on and just have a, a quick chat about what I went to see and um, what I've got up to really um so this morning we dropped Emily off um she was so excited bless her um so she's gone on her school trip um, and I'm sure we'll be hearing lots more from her and um through this week I'll try and put little bits and pieces in as to how she's doing and what what she's been getting up to and there will be a vlog um obviously of her time in Barcelona so look out for that um but we thought we'd go see the new Indiana Jones film it has been out for a few weeks but me and Emily's dad have not had a chance to go see it um, we don't do very much together to be honest with you um, so this was a really good opportunity really um, with Emily not being around that we could just go off and see a film that we wanted to go see um, I did find it really good actually it was a good film it wasn't fantastic um, I think high expectations again of such um, a brilliant iconic film Harrison Ford is brilliant in it I really love him as an actor I think he's brilliant um, and it was a good film film it just wasn't for me like the original ones um I know some films it, it gets a bit like that doesn't it where the more the make it's not always as good as the beginning um ones but it was still a good film I think it was because it was quite slow moving um so I think really to be honest it probably um sorry I'm absolutely sweating it's absolutely boiling in here um so I'm, I'm so hot um it's it's not that it wasn't a good film I think it was just it was very very slow and um, so I think it took about an hour to get moving really um, and then it got to some really good action scenes Indiana Jones music and things and then I think that's when it really got going um, but there was quite a few times in it that I was getting really confused as to what film am I watching um, because it had a lot of Star Wars type themed music in it obviously it's Lucasfilm mixed in with Disney so um, the Lucasfilm part of it because obviously they did Star Wars um, maybe the originals had something similar to Star Wars music um, I can't quite remember um, but a few times we did think Kylo Ren was just gonna pop out or something to do with Star Wars um, so yeah both me and Emily's dad did think the same in the sense that a little bit of a Star Wars theme um, and it was a good movie but it wasn't necessarily in the standard of the earlier Indiana Jones movies um, but Harrison Ford does amazingly well in, in the film definitely um, it's kind of left it a bit open-ended as well so don't know if there'll be another one not sure um, but that was our cinema trip so we had a nice time had some nice food out I'm um, just gonna relax now for the evening I think um, and then what's coming up really the rest of the week um, I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna sound really old now aren't I really um, I'm gonna do a spot of gardening tomorrow um, but don't, don't turn off the video now if anyone's not interested in gardening I'm not going to show you loads of gardening I'm just going to do a little bit in the garden because it's in the week of the life of the brownie life so it's something that I would do um, a bit of cleaning a um, bit of other bits and pieces um, obviously I work as well so there'll be bits and pieces of me going to work um, well, getting ready for work um, maybe some editing going on things like that through the week um, so I'll just see, see what, what I get up to um, but don't turn off now just because you don't want to watch any gardening because I think the next day I think I might do a spot of shopping so stay tuned because there might be Primark um, see where else I decide to go so there's definitely some shopping coming up as well so see you really soon <laughs> I 
morning everybody so it's another day and today i'm gonna do a spot of gardening um it's not gonna be a massive amount of footage that's going on here so no one needs to worry in in terms of if you're bored looking at a garden which i'm sure a lot of you will be but this is a week in the brownie life and this is what i'm doing um but yeah it's it's not gonna be it's gonna be a few hours for me um but it'll just be more or less a few clips for you guys so you know don't switch off now wait for the other things if you're not interested in gardening but if you do like it then that's what i'm going to show you just really what i'm getting up to in the garden today um it's a job that i've been putting off for such a long time i've always kept on top of the garden to be honest um but this year i don't know what's happened i think it's just I've been really busy. I'm busy obviously all the time doing a lot of YouTube things. Um, I work as well and then there's things with Emily and there's other things in the house. Um, and too many holidays probably. We're just probably going away too much. Um, so I've just not had the chance to really um, get in the garden and really properly take weeds out and get it all a bit more tidied. Um, and then we had loads more plans to do the garden but I think it's going to wait now until next springtime, summertime. And I think we're going to have plans to do an awful lot more with the garden um but yeah today is just a bit of a tidy up for a few hours as i say just a few clips for you um and then my plan is probably to do some shopping a bit of food shopping toiletries and things like that um and then youtubey things later on probably after i've had tea and stuff like that um yeah see what see what i get done so i've got my hot drink my big plastic beaker because uh, I always like to take something out in the garden um, that's covered so it doesn't get bits in and flies in and things such as that so if you want to join me in the garden then that's the next clip and if you don't then fast forward and I'm sure I'll be doing something else interesting later on hopefully so see you in the garden definitely got worse I couldn't stay out in it any longer so I'm dripping wet obviously hair's completely soaked clothes are wet um, but I've done what I can anyway in the garden so I'm gonna get showered changed have some lunch and then if it dries up I might go back and do a little bit more but I won't film anymore in the garden um, and then I'm gonna go get some food shopping but I can't take the camera because um, it's just too busy and I'm not you know a really experienced YouTuber yet where I can go around busy crowds of people and I don't really like to do that and I think especially when people are buying their shopping like food shopping and things like that um yeah so I'm not I'm not going to do that um so the next clip you're probably going to see is probably me editing tonight so I'll see you there. Hi everyone so I'm back from food shopping and uh, got myself a cup of tea got the laptop out and I'm about to start editing a video which will be the video the pack with me video um that me and emily did together um well mainly emily but both of us together um which is the video that will be before the one that you're currently watching which sounds quite confusing because i'm showing you in terms of editing but that's how it is isn't it when you're putting videos out later so yeah got myself a cup of tea and um, i'm waiting for some clips to upload which to be honest 
take a long time sometimes to um, get on the system before you can do anything. Um, and if I'm honest, a lot of editing does take a long time. Um, you don't always see that or you don't always realise that until you're doing it in terms of how much goes into things behind the scenes. Um, so I will share my screen with you. Uh, once I've uploaded these clips, I'll share my screen in terms of just a few little bits and pieces of what I do, which isn't all what I do. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of other people out there that have big channels and been doing it a long time, you know, they probably have a lot more complicated um, software and things like that. But um, anyway, I'm gonna show you just a few bits and pieces um, of what I do um, when I'm editing the videos. Um, just because again it's you know a week in the brown life and I'm trying to show you bits and pieces of what I'd ordinarily be doing um, and this is it. So I've managed to get on to things a little bit earlier than I thought um, so I've got a couple of hours until I'm probably going to be making tea um, and then once we've had something to eat and had a bit of a relax and things I'll come back to this. Um, so it will take me quite a while um, getting this video done. Um, but I'll just show you a few little bits and pieces of clips. So obviously I'm not going to take you through everything. Um, I'll be here all night otherwise. Um, so anyway, I'll share my screen. So here we are with the screen of uh, the software system that I use. Um, I've got some clips uploaded here um, at the bottom tab. Um, and then the clips here um, to the left hand side are the things that I'm moving across. And then each of the clips and then need to... Um, edit, you know, clip everything, just check everything. Um, obviously, if we say something stupid, then take that out. Um, or if something just doesn't roll properly, um, take it out. Um, so just really editing each clip. But some videos can obviously have more clips than others. So I'm just going to move uh, some clips across as to where um, I got to. Then I'm just expanding them in the background. Um, I think that's where I got to. It's really weird seeing your own face on a on a clip. It's not necessarily <laughs> the greatest thing to look at sometimes. So basically, I'm just going to go through and edit everything, pop in some music um, where I need anything. I'm not sure with this video I'm going to need any music. So I've just put my comfy hoodie back on. And we're just about to relax and have tea um, and watch a program that we've been watching actually um, the last sort of few nights um, because we've not had chance really before to be watching that much. Um, but it's called For Her Sins. Um, it's got Jo Joyner in, I believe. Um, she's been in quite a few things before. Um, so we've been really enjoying that actually and this is the last part um, so quite excited to watch that and then I'm going to head back to the uh, YouTube things um, before bed um, and then I'll see you in the morning. So here we are in the shoe section so I'll just take you around a few bits and pieces and things that I'm specifically looking for and see what's new as well so first of all I'm looking for some white pumps pump trainer kind of things to go with long dresses jeans shorts things like that so there's these ones 14 pounds i think i'll try these ones on and then i think there's some more around here they don't have my size in these ones but these ones are just some plain white pumps as well again 14 so i think most of them are 14 or some of the workout trainers tend to be a little bit more there's quite a lot of uh, range of them just some more of the basic white ones here again 14 pounds but sadly they don't have my size in I've got a seven but not an eight in them these are really good I've always used these in the house like memory foam ones just to walk around in the house and things with I find these really really good so I'm gonna get a pair of these these are some more of your basic pumps, which are really good value in terms of £7. I think these ones, I'm going to try these ones on. They're 10 but they've got a bit more of a wipeable surface. Uh, but yeah, really good value for some of these ones. These are the selection of uh, white pump trainer things that I've picked. Got 7s and 8s. Got big feet, so we'll see uh, what they're like when I try them on. So the 7s were way too tight. Um, but the eights actually do fit, but they're still a bit tight, so I'm not sure. So this is what the size eight looks like on me. The seven is definitely far too tight, but these are the other style in the eight. So I think these ones 
would have looked probably nicer um, but they're a little bit more clumpy to be honest and they're quite sparkly I'm not sure if they'll, they'll go for like an everyday look whereas these are more like an everyday white pump um, and actually they do look um, like the canvas but they're not they're like a wipeable so they've got like a leather a leather kind of effect so it does look as if they're wipeable so they might not do too bad in the rain I think in terms of my socks I probably just need some trainer socks that are a little bit lower and I think uh, other than that I think uh, these look quite good mainly go with uh, shorts and long dresses and things like that so they're very comfy and for the price I think they're really good this is what they look like in a full length mirror and then just spotted these ones which are Disney ones so I've got a size 7 and a size 8 white pumps but with a, a mickey on them so I'm going to try these as well so these are the Disney pumps just with a simple mickey and some sparkle on it but still very plain as well so this is what they look like with my outfit today so it's just a long summer dress with these I really can't decide to be honest it would be really useful for Disney definitely but I'm not sure because when we're going whether I'll need boots normal trainers or pumps really can't decide and I can get Emily matching ones of these as well but I think I'm definitely going to get the other white pumps just for everyday use and as I say with dresses like this as well as jeans and things and then this is the Disney section so we've got some stitch ones these are the ones that I'm going to go for in an eight because seven was too tight so these look pretty cool I'm going to see if I can get Emily sizing them as well so we can match I do really like these Mickey ones down here as well well Disney because of Mickey and a few of the other characters I just don't like the green that's what puts me off but these ones are Disney 100 they're 16 pounds whereas these ones are yeah they're 16 as well yeah, but I think I prefer these over them just due to the green on them these are some more coming out of summer probably into slightly cooler days maybe pumps but with a, a higher ankle part so various colours and designs I think most of these tend to be £10, some are 8 some might be slightly more, yeah there's some for 12 some for 14 it depends if you want more the wipeable surface like this is more wipeable whereas some of the others are more canvas there's quite a few different varieties there still a large range of flip-flops available as well most of them are 250 some are 350 and then some of these section here are a pound so there's still a large range of flip-flops those are the ones we got in our not our last haul the one before to match um, our swimming costumes and cover shirts and things like that so they're really nice I'm just looking at some bags I think I'm gonna pick this bag for work um, just £9. I did see it before actually, I think we showed you them not the last haul, the one before, I think the one we did in May we showed you in different colours which they still have because they've got this tan kind of colour and then a white as well I do like them all but I don't know if black will be more useful maybe, so I think I'll buy this one for for work, yeah because I think uh, it's quite large inside yeah, it doesn't have separate sections unfortunately but it does have a zip so yeah, I think I'm going to go with this, but I can't quite decide whether I go with the black or whether I go with the brown. So I picked up the black bag in the end, so I said £9, so that's a really good everyday bag for work. And I picked up this, which matches the cover-up. If you watched our last video, um, early in July, um, we've just recently put out a Primark um, haul uh, shop with us and try on. These match the uh, cover-up, they're only £4 toiletry bag thing so I'm gonna pick this up for our next holiday so basket pretty full I've got two sizes there of the Mickey trainers um, trainer pump things for Emily and a five and a six just to see what fits her 
I can always bring them back and then I've popped these in. So I've definitely got a full basket now. I'll see you at home to do a cleaning afternoon. So I didn't rush home to do a cleaning afternoon quite as quick as I needed to because I did get sidetracked just a little with the next sale. So the first thing I got was this really nice dress, long sleeved and it's a long dress as well. I thought this was really, really nice. I did try a few things on but only very, very quickly because I was in a rush to get back. Um, so I think I'll be keeping these things that I'm showing you, but I might not, uh, we'll just see. Um, but this was originally £42 and it's down to £19.50. So that was a really good buy. So maybe for a holiday or just generally shopping, things like that. So I thought it was just a really pretty, really comfortable dress. And it's got a nice zip at the front actually, so you can just zip it up and down. Next item was this dress. So it does actually look really big and baggy, but it isn't when it's when it's on. Um, it is still quite baggy, um, but in a nice way, not as in too big. Um, so it's got sort of puffy sleeves here. And then I think you can kind of put it off your shoulder, or I just pulled it up like that, and then the tie around the waist. It was originally priced at £40, and I got it for £16.50. And um, so again, another really good bargain. Another item was this shirt. So it's just a short sleeved shirt, which I think looks really nice actually. I think sort of if you took it in, maybe with some trousers or jeans, again like a linen effect to it. And the original price of this was £34 and I got it for £17. Um, and I'm definitely not a size 10, but this was a size 10 and it's absolutely huge. Some things I think the the design now is to have it really baggy, but this is actually baggy on me. And I would definitely say, at the moment, I'm more a 16. Um, but again, if you sort of tuck it in, jeans, trousers, even shorts, or some smart trousers for sort of going out or something like that. An item that I bought for Emily, just because she always seems to need pumps and trainers and things, I got these. It's these denim pump things. And they were originally 26 pounds down to 11. So I thought they were a really good buy as well. So hopefully they fit. They didn't have another size bigger. So this was the biggest size in a five that I could get. And finally, not in the sale, but just some nice basic leggings. A lot of the next leggings are really, really good. If you go for the thicker, um, I'm not really sure what they're really made out of, but they're, they're, they're definitely the thicker style um, with a, a thicker waistband um, leggings. So not your basic style leggings. These are normally £16, so I'd say I just paid full price for these because I needed some more, or certainly going into, um, coming out of the summer into the autumn, definitely need some more. But even on cooler days at the moment, um, I just needed some more leggings. But I really, really do rate next leggings. I think they're really, really good. As I'm putting out this video um, a little bit later um, than I normally would in terms of if I go into any shops, so when I do Primark or anything like that, I usually upload it pretty soon after I've done it just so that for everybody watching it's it's very new in store um, now the next things in terms of the sale usually they're only in the stores for possibly a week maybe and um, so it's it's just something to bear in mind that you might not find sale items in your nearest next door um, but generally speaking after about a week it all goes online anyway so definitely check out online to see what bargains that you can get so now we're going to head to the cleaning so first job on the cards is the kitchen. We've got shopping there in the corner, which tends to be a dumping ground. Anything that comes in, we tend to pop in that corner, which we really should stop doing. So I need to put all that away. We've got things on the side, um, pots and all different things that just need putting away and cleaning up. So I'm gonna get to this right now. just think why did I start doing it I just thought do you know what my oven is absolutely disgusting and um, the glass screen on the oven the grill everything is disgusting let's just give it a quick clean let's just try and get it a little bit cleaner oh dear why did I do this to myself I'm actually trialing out a new product um, that I haven't used before for oven cleaning so I thought I'd give it a go but ugh, I don't know how much longer this is gonna take me so We'll see. Right, so let's see what this cloth does. 
Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do this and hold the camera at the same time, but anyway, let's have a go. Actually, that's pretty good, is that? I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, but... So you use the rough side to clean it all with, and then the sponge side to wipe it down. Obviously, it's not spotlessly clean. Um, there's still little bits here and there that I need to go over again. Um, but I thought it was going to take quite a bit to get it off, but it genuinely hasn't. And then you just need to use like a normal cloth, like one of these or something, just to clean it off properly. But that's looking pretty good, actually. So maybe it won't take me as long as I thought. And then now I need to get inside. It does make everything go quite orange, does this, obviously with the paste being orange. Um, I won't deny that it wasn't disgusting anyway, but it does look a bit more smeary disgusting now. <laughs> um, but when you put the um, paste onto this bit, obviously just smooth it in to the dirt to try and lift it, and then just rinse it off with this part. Um, this is the glass, which I think looks, I mean it's not absolutely spotless, but it looks pretty amazing to be honest. I've not taken that much time. I think at the beginning I thought it was just going to take me ages, but it didn't at all. Um, and the other side as well. Um, so I think that looks uh, pretty clean. I mean, I'm not after it looking spotlessly clean because I didn't have any intention to actually clean the oven today, but um, here we are, I'm doing it. I mean, as you can tell from my face, I look a bit of a beetroot to say the least. Um, but I'm not going to show you cleaning things for the sake of cleaning them if they're already clean, if you see what I mean. Um, I'm just doing, you know, what I'd normally do. I haven't cleaned this for a while, I have to say. Um, but, you know, this is just a week in the life of the brownie life and I'm just showing you a bit of cleaning up. So, if you think it looks disgusting and you don't want to see it, I'm really sorry, but this is what I'm cleaning today. And apologies for the beetroot face, but this is what happens when you clean up. Who needs a workout, hey? So I finished cleaning all of the oven and the racks as well. So that looks uh, pretty sparkling. I'm quite happy with that. And the grill pan too. And all of the glass has come up really good. Um, so I'm quite quite happy with that actually. So just in case anyone's interested, this is the product that I was using. Um, Astonish Oven and Grill. This is the paste and this is the scrubbing thing. Um, and actually, to be honest, it, it doesn't even look that bad. Um, so you can easily use that again because I'm not sure how much paste I was supposed to use, but it'll definitely do another go and I won't leave it as long next time. Um, it's not sponsored or anything like that, I just thought I'd let you know, given the fact that I've just cleaned with it um, and I've not used it myself before, I'd let you know that actually I thought it was quite good. And I decided to give the um, cooker hood filters and these under here a good clean. I was definitely not going to show you what they looked like before. They looked absolutely awful, um, but obviously it's all grease, isn't it, and everything from cooking, um, and the just the top of there, um, I've given that a good clean down, so done some extra jobs that I wasn't expecting to do.
kitchen I'm going to move on to my next cleaning task which I think is probably going to be the conservatory um, I'm going to enjoy a glass of water because I'm boiling um, and yeah I'm going to get on with the conservatory next I think so I'll see you in there and this is what happens when you leave washing everywhere this is the current state of my conservatory right now Note to self, when you get the washing off the line or the error, put it away. Otherwise, it ends up looking like this. A big mess. We've got benches that need to be over there, dining room chairs, which should be in the dining room, not in here. Massively dirty um, windowsills that definitely need a good clean down. Um, yeah, just a mess really. So, we need to get to this and get this sorted. And then I'm just building up piles of clothes that can either be folded, underwear, things like that, um, to go in this big laundry basket. We don't use it for laundry, we use it for clean clothes. Um, I'm piling everything in here so that I can take them all upstairs and then put everything away. Everything that needs ironing, I've made a big pile, left it in the living room. some more cleaning in here in the conservatory um, but any of any of you that that are not interested in cleaning before you turn off keep watching and um, because I'm definitely going to do some online shopping as well probably in Matalan I've never shopped online at Matalan I have been in store um, but I've never I've never I've never done anything online I don't know if it's a new thing I don't know if they've done online for a long time um, not entirely sure but I'm going to go check it out because there is a massive sale on at the moment so I'm going to look through the sale things um, really for summer holiday clothing um, we have got enough really to be honest we have bought a few things more recently um, but some things I've got in my wardrobe are older so I'd like to sort of replace some of those things as well um, so I'm going to have a look so keep watching um, and see what I get up to so I need to fold all of these makeup remover cloths uh, to take up into the bathroom. If you've not already checked out my video, I did um, a video recently on a raise your face makeup remover cloths, these are them, by Danielle Creations. Um, so if you haven't already seen the video, go check it out if you're interested in makeup remover cloths. Um, because they're really really good, it's, they're really such a good product um, hence why I did a video on them. Um, not sponsored or not an ad or, uh, you know, I'm not getting paid about any of these uh, anything that I, that I talk about in terms of products or anything like that, um, it's genuinely just because I think they're good products. Um, and I'm just telling you all about them. So I'm just folding these all up. Um, we do tend to wash them with microfiber cloths, these ones, um, that I just use for drying hands in the kitchen and the utility area. Instead of using big towels and paper towels and things, I tend to use these. So these literally only get used as a hand towel so to speak and I wash them in the washing machine with these but if you go check out that video you'll know all about that anyway. So while I'm folding what feels like a million cloths, um, it isn't really but I thought I'd just have a little chat. Um, I did message Emily a little while ago, haven't had a response yet, I suppose, am I surprised? No. Um, I'm sure she's having loads of fun and she doesn't want to message you know, the other half of the brownie life. Her mum, who, you know, misses her so much and she's probably not really bothered, to be honest. I'm only joking, completely joking. Um, I know she will be bothered and I know she'll miss me and her dad. Um, but she'll be having so, so much fun. I have heard from her, um, I, you know, I, I am getting messages from her. Um, I think it's a bit awkward to ring and I suppose when you're in front of your friends and you're doing lots of busy things, you, you don't really want to be calling home, do you? So um, I am getting messages from her though, just to say, you know, how she's doing and things and what she's getting up to. So sounds like she's having loads of fun. Um, so I'm really, really pleased that she's gone. Um, but I am missing her. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm struggling because obviously I, I'm, I'm so busy all the time. It's hard to sometimes have a moment's peace to yourself anyway. Um, I'm definitely enjoying the peace. <laughs> Anyone out there that has teenagers, you'll know exactly what I mean, in the sense that um, if you're close to your children, you're close to your teenager, then obviously you'll have so much fun doing things with them and chatting with them and, and things like that. But there does come a point sometimes where um, it just seems never ending in terms of um, things that, that they do, things that they say. Um, and it does get a bit tiring after a while, doesn't it? Um, bless her. Love her to bits. But it is quite nice to have a little bit of peace, I must admit. 
but yeah am i missing it absolutely um if i really think about it a lot i then could get really emotional about it because it does make me feel sick thinking um she's she's so far away and she hasn't been um you know before apart from an odd occasion where she went um somewhere with with my mum um a what quite a long time ago really but I don't know, um, because we're so close and obviously we, you know, we're doing YouTube together and things like that, um, yeah, it, it, it does feel a bit like something's definitely missing. <laughs> and cleaned up so I've popped my cushions back where uh, they belong we've got the lovely home on there that was a Georgia Asda a long time ago but don't know if they'll still have that now and I've popped some pink ones over here they don't necessarily go but they were in Emily's room which we're currently renovating everything in her room is all upstairs in other rooms so the house is like a bomb city really everywhere <laughs> um, here We've got some cushions that I'm going to move on, I think, to charity because I don't, I'm not really keen on them anymore. And um, in case anyone's thinking, well, the sofas and not so much the sofas, but the chair there is maybe a little bit old fashioned. Um, it probably is, to be fair. Um, it's something that means a lot to me and that's the reason why I've got it in here. I might move it into our room eventually when I sort all of the rooms out. So that's me done. Um, I'm just really tired after all that cleaning um, up. Just as a last point, and I don't want to bring the video down in any way at all, because this is, you know, a happy place, and I like to think that we do happy videos and things like that, but when I said this chair means a lot, it, it does, because it belongs to, um, or it belonged to, um, my, my mum and dad, um, and neither of them are here now. Um, so it's something that does mean a lot and that's why it's it's in here. Um, and eventually, when we've got a lot more things sorted out, it might go in another room, but for now, it's here and um, I want to keep hold of it for the reason because it belonged to them. Um, so anyway, as I said, I'm not gonna bring you know thing, things down and people don't always want to hear about things or talk about things, but um, I just wanted to point that out in case anyone thinks it's not very modern um, to have in a room, but that's the reason why it's here. And on a happier note, um, I've just heard from Emily. So she's just given me a call, um, which was really, really nice. Um, after my last clip, I probably needed that to be honest. Um, in terms of hearing from her that was it was really nice just to hear her voice i'm not going to tell you all what she's getting up to and what's what because um, i'm going to leave her to do any footage that she does that she puts together herself but she's doing fine she's 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 managed with you know everything so far um so it was just really nice to hear her voice and have that call from her because she didn't have to ring me um, she, we have just been messaging each other anyway but um it was just nice to hear hear her voice and um i'm glad she's happy i think she's really tired she hasn't had a lot of sleep um but yeah she's doing really well and she's enjoying herself having fun which is the main I thing i think today i'll only be just specifically looking at sales so as we just go through here just scrolling down there's a lot of um there is jeans on here but there is also shorts and little skirts so still quite summery thing. black leaf print one shoulder swim costume 21 pounds down to 10 pound 50. i saw this before i uh, wasn't sure if this had my size uh, no just looking at a few other things there's some really nice um like more maxi dresses and trouser suits um nice pretty top £7.50, some basic t-shirts, this is really nice, like a bit of a different um, t-shirt, let's go into that, I think the problem is sometimes sizing, um, I would have quite liked 
that's quite nice really just a sort of a casual kind of t-shirt um but then have an extra large which is fine if you need an extra large um so anyone watching you know from from this video obviously if you go online it is likely to be more limited sizing um this is really pretty I'm not sure i'd wear it though i'm not sure if i'd look any good in that but um especially with them being satin um so it's shorts and a top that is really pretty eight pound fifty each piece so obviously 17 pound for the actual set which is a really good buy um i'll go click on them just to see if they've got certain sizes yeah you see they've got the full sizes in in this ranging from sort of eight all the way through to 20 so that's really good eight pound fifty just gonna zoom in a little bit yeah they're really pretty actually um i've one got hawaii beach on it emily would love that anyone who's watched our recent primark vlog i'll know that i did mention about hawaii um because it seems to be a destination Emily's got in her head that she'd like to go to at some point. Um, not quite sure when that would be happening, but anyway, um, that's really nice, £5.50. But yeah, anyone out there that's looking at this, um, go onto Madeline's website and have a good look, because there might be something, you know, depending on your size. Um, there's some really good bargains here, really. Morning, everybody. Um, so I've just got myself ready for work. Had a quick breakfast had a shower, got myself ready. I haven't filmed too much this morning because I am in a little bit of a rush. Um, but tomorrow morning I'll have a bit more time because I'm going to get up early and do some jobs before I set off for work. So tomorrow morning I might show a little bit more in terms of maybe me putting my makeup on, um, getting my bag sorted, things like that if you're interested. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to um, come back on camera um, this evening when I'm back home from work, a few jobs to do and I'm going to cook steak for tea. So I might just show you a little bit of that. So. Um, yeah, I'll see you tonight. So I'm back home, back from work, feeling tired, but I'm going to get on with some jobs before I make tea. Um, obviously, as it's just me and Emily's dad, we can eat a little bit later as well than normally when I come in from work. I do have to have this rush of get straight on with tea because Emily's starving. Um, and we're starving as well, but sometimes if you just have a little snack or something, you can then eat a little bit later on. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Um, I've got some editing to do, um, some more editing for YouTube things, and um, I'm gonna try and clean the bathroom, just give it a quick clean over, and then make tea. So stick with me, and then you'll see how I make my steaks. steaks that are raw that are quite bloody then definitely fast forward now because they are so I don't want to put anybody off or make anyone upset so if you don't want to watch it fast forward until another part in the video so these are our steaks I've got two of these and I've put plenty of olive oil and sea salt just on the top taking the packaging off just leaving in there to air out for around half an hour just to get to room temperature before I put them in the um, griddle pan, that's what I tend to use, but frying pan would be okay as well. Got some mushrooms and tomatoes I'm going to cook with them, and some potato dolphin wise too. Um, definitely the secret for the steak that I find is definitely olive oil, the salt and the resting time before you're about to cook it. So now I've put my steak into a really hot griddle pan, you can use a frying pan as well, uh, but get the pan really hot first, then pop your oiled, salted 
stick straight in. And my secret, which I've read about and researched into, is turn the stick every minute. So that's literally been on for a minute. And then I'm just gonna literally put my timer on for one more minute and then turn it again. And then depending on how well done you like it or you know more medium or rare, it'll depend on how many minutes you need to put it on for. But for me, on a reasonable stick, I would say 10 to 12 minutes to have it well done. So I've gone with 12 minutes and then I'm going to put them onto a hot plate, just a baking tray that's really hot, to rest for 5 minutes before I plate up. So the finished stick with all the trimmings, glass of wine and some peppercorn sauce. Don't make a habit of having steak during the week, it's just a special meal for me and Emily's dad um, as we're just having a nice evening meal together and so we thought why not. Cheers. on my cheeks and things like that um, so nothing nothing too major for work and every day um, so I've heard from Emily and um, she's doing really really well um, she's done lots of the excursions and things like that and she's had some time in the hotel and pool and beach and bits like that so um, I'm really excited to have her home. <laughs> Bits ready to get to work. So bag all packed ready to go. Just got all my basic essentials in, some things that I need in there for work. Love these water bottles. Use these water bottles all the time. I think they're fantastic and I usually fill this up twice at work so I have quite a lot of water while I'm there. So I'm all ready to go to work so I'll see you tonight. So I'm back from work, I've got a nice cup of tea on the go. I've actually pinched one of Emily's mugs so shh don't tell um, it's from Coral Echo Fort Ventura. Anyone who's watched a lot of our videos on the channel, um, in Coral Echo Fort Ventura, there's a shop called Ale Hop. Um, it's a wonderful shop, actually. It's very much like Flying Tiger. We got that from there. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying my cup of tea in Emily's mug. Um, and any of you that haven't watched our Coral Echo videos, go check them out on our channel. Um, it's a place we've been going to for many years, over 20 years, and, and love it there. I just thought I'd have a little chat um, in terms of this video, the last video we did, um, and what's coming up really, um, in terms of what's coming up on our channel. Um, so, I mean, in terms of this, this video that you're currently watching um, and the last video, the pack with me with Emily, um, definitely comment down below in terms of anything that you've really enjoyed, that you want to see more of in, in either of the videos. Um, I, think, I think we've done something probably a little bit different with these two videos to what we've normally done on our channel. You know, normally the channel's about travelling and holidays and reviews, yeah, but not... Um, more to do with where we're staying and things we're doing, restaurants, things like that. Um, so let us know if you've enjoyed seeing a little bit more of us um, in terms of some things that we've been doing. Um, so obviously, yeah, shopping, but clean with me and just bits and pieces, more of us really. Um, and yeah, comment down below if there's anything that you have enjoyed that you want to see more of um, that we could maybe do more content like that on our channel in the future. Um, but to be honest, what's actually coming up is our Barbie video. So don't forget about that one. That's definitely coming up soon. Um, obviously, Emily's coming back. Um, she's coming back from Barcelona. She's coming back tomorrow. So I know she's actually traveling right now. She's contacted me 
to say that they're on the way um, but it does take an awful long time to be honest with the coach the ferries and everything else um, she may get delayed as well um, but she's due back home tomorrow and um, so what I probably probably will do is another short video in terms of um, maybe just her return um, and us having a little chat really about Barcelona and anybody um, wanting to know a little bit more about Barcelona as well hopefully she'll be able to give you know a bit more information on that um, and then I'll definitely put out whatever footage she's taken but it is her footage it's her vlog in a different it's way it's not going to be the same style um, of video as to what I've usually done um, because it's it's her it's it's in her way um, and as I say obviously her friends um, oh, sorry as Emily's already said not me she's already said that in her last video um, her friends don't know that she does YouTube and um, I didn't think she wanted to really put it out there just yet so um, you know she's she's done footage the best she can that video will definitely be heading your way as well um, and yeah some other exciting things hopefully another holiday so we might have some exciting news about another holiday as well coming really soon so um on that note i really hope you've enjoyed a week in the brownie life um and yeah definitely comment down below on anything you want to talk about from this video um emily will be back soon and we'll be back to the full brownie life i'm really really excited to see her again i've really missed so it thank you very much for watching and um, if you're new to our channel please do subscribe and um, if you want to see more content like this um, and go check out our other videos on our channel in terms of turkey fortaventura disney there's all sorts of things on our channel right now and um, so go check those out and if you if you have been watching our channel for a while we do really appreciate it we know the subscribers that comment on our videos quite a lot um, and you know we know that you're watching us and and we just me and Emily are really grateful so thank you very much for that and um, hope you've enjoyed this different type of video um, and yeah we've got some exciting things coming up so make sure you keep watching and as I say subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. So thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.